How can you tell when someone is lying? Well, for police, getting to the truth is very important. As you know, they've used lie detector tests for years, but now there is some new technology. I was with John Bennett when she died. I did not ever expect uh, that I would be convicted because I know that I'm innocent. Truth or lies, fact or fiction, your eyes may not give you away, but with new technology, your voice could do you in. I had nothing to do with Lacey's disappearance, and we need to start looking for her again because people are different. Layered voice analysis, or LVA. Speak into a microphone and it separates your voice into seven layers, reading emotions in your subconscious by subtle changes in how you speak. LVA differs from the old-fashioned lie detector test. The subject is not hooked up to monitoring machines, and the interviewer can ask open-ended questions, not just ones requiring yes or no answers. And don't try to disguise your voice. Sergeant Bill Franco knows, like lie detector tests, LVA results are not admissible in court. But he has used the technology in dozens of cases. He nabbed a child molester using LVA. This is not a truth or consequence um, instrument. This is an area to just show you, to get you in the right direction and talk to you about the right things to be able to get you to the bottom of an investigation. But I want to say one thing to the American people. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false, and I need to go back to work for the American people. Thank you. Layered voice analysis is about 85% accurate, a lie detector, correct about half the time. Investigators say sometimes the truth hurts, or it just may set you free.